Hello everyone and welcome back to A Least Little Things. I just thought I would share a wee video on my day out trip to a few places. So we first decided to go to Denur Castle. The site dates from the late 13th century, the earliest charter for the land dating from 1256, but the remains of the building are of 15th and 16th century origin. One tradition says that the castle was built by the Danes. Another claims that the, Mackin the Mackinsons held the castle from Alexander III as a reward for their valour at the Battle of Largs. The castle is the point of origin of the Kennedys of Carrick, not to be confused with the American Kennedy family, who once ruled over much of southwestern Scotland and were granted the lands. In August 1563, Mary Queen of Scots visited the castle for three days during her third progress round the west of the country. Loch Doon. Loch Doon represents the largest freshwater loch in southern Scotland, lying at the head of the River Doon. Now a peaceful beauty spot, Loch Doon has an illustrious history. In the 13th century it was a site of Balloch Castle, owned by the Earls of Carrick and later the, Ken the Kennedy clan. Balloch Castle was later demolished by King James. The loch and the surrounding landscape attracted attention as ideal training ground for aero, gunnery and target ranges during both world wars. Two crashes are on record as a result of such training during the 1940s with the wreckage from the 1944 Royal Canadian Air Force crash remaining in sight, sight at the forest on the shores of Loch Doon. It was held by one Jelly Bridge Sir Gilbert de Carrick, a native Carrick nobleman who surrendered it to the English. It was soon recovered by the Scots in the 15th century. It was frequently it was frequently in the hands of the Kennedy clan, although it was briefly in the hands of the McClellans, backed by Will, backed by William Douglas, the eighth Earl, Earl of Douglas. After a siege in 1446, 
The castle was destroyed in the 16th century by King James as part of a general policy of reducing the power of barons. In the First World War, there was a growing need to train pilots and aircrew in aerial gunnery. Loch Doon was thought to be ideally suited for such an establishment with its surrounding deep, with its surrounding steep hills being an ideal position for target ranges. Work began in September 1916 and an airfield, slipways, piers, jets, seaplane, tramways and other associated buildings erected. What is sad is this was the place my dog Woody used to swim, so it reminds me a lot of my dog. Fair, a communion season, sometimes called a holy fair, is an annual week-long festival culminating with the celebration of the Lord's Supper. It usually begins with a Thursday fast, on Friday known as the Question Day. The men would give their interpretations of Bible verses chosen by the minister. They would occasionally emerge as a as charismatic leaders of local revels. 
There is usually activities, music and culture for all ages and interests. More than 70 stalls and outlets selling a huge variety of interesting crafts, foods and delicacies, along with charitable stalls and local organisations. Thank you.